this Olympic journey uh, has been very long because uh, since it was the first time for fencing to try something for the first time. So I didn't have enough knowledge at the beginning. Uh, for me, yes, of course, I had financial struggle. I had lots of other problems, but the more important thing that I lacked at the beginning was the lack of knowledge. Uh, uh, wh wh why I'm saying this is uh, in 2010, uh, I, I went for the junior world championship in Jordan, which is also the qualification for the first youth Olympic games. Um, so uh, the qualification is the top 16 from the cadet uh, competition. So I, I, want, I went to th 32 and I was just one match uh, to go to the first youth Olympic games. And uh, I was 14, 14 with uh, another friend, sir. And I lost the last point. But uh, uh, and after I finished the match, I was very upset, of course, because I missed the chance to go to the Youth Olympic Games. And uh, one referee from Japan came towards me and he said, you should have asked for the video. Because in fencing, you can, if a referee gives you a touch and if you are not, uh, uh, you know, if you are not uh, agreeing with the touch, you can ask for the video. The referee goes to the second video and he recheck it. And it's okay, you will give the same touch or you can change it. So at that time, I didn't know about that video thing. I didn't know that, you know, I have that video option for me. So I was more upset about this than losing the match. So uh, I, I wanted to know more about, uh, you know, about qualification. Also for the qualification, I didn't know how I have to qualify, how I need to get points. So all those things were more difficult than uh, financial struggles and other problems. But uh, for, for me, uh, my family stood with me all the time and they have supported me like uh, only because of their strong and continuous support, I could able to move forward. Uh, especially my mother, uh, she always motivates me because at the beginning I was not getting good results. I was not even getting closer to the qualification, but uh, even, uh, and I was feeling very down and I was not sure whether I'm going, I'm uh, going in the right way or not, whether I have chosen the right uh, uh, decisions in my life or not. But she always tells me, like, you know, you have to keep going forward. You're, you're doing better. You're doing well. You need to try and keep trying and uh, don't worry about anything. We will take care of all other uh, things. So I think uh, their, uh, her, her, uh, her motivation, uh, her words encouraged me to move forward, motivated me to work harder. And then, and after a few years of uh, struggles and challenges, I got the right support and I received, I started receiving support from uh, Sports Authority of India, Sports uh, Development Authority of Tamil Nadu, and then uh, my federation. So, and then I, I got uh, the right support in right time towards the this Olympic, uh, Tokyo Olympic journey. And uh, we'll, with all of their support, I think it, it was only possible because of all of them. Athletes' life is very hard. You know, everyone, every athlete in the world, you know, every professional athlete in the world is working to get that one gold medal. And uh, when when one wins, many other don't take that medal. So, uh, but it's not the end. We we need the same support and the gold medal winners always get the good support and they get more encouragement and more energy to move forward. But the one who didn't win a medal, it's difficult for them to, you know, to come back and to to have that energy to continue again. So for me, uh, I was really disappointed after my second match because for me, it's not about first round, second round. For me, it's always you know, to win medal for India. And uh, even though it's my first Olympics, I wanted to, I went, came to this competition to do something, uh, you know, to make my country proud, to, to get that medal for India. And uh, when I was really, I was upset after that match and I, uh, when I saw his, his post, I'm like, you know, how can uh, a leader, you know, do something like this for one athlete who lost the match? So I think this is very, very important for me and also for the all the athletes in our country that whether uh, because winning and losing is a part of sport, you have to keep move, moving forward. But sometimes it's difficult to self-motivate yourself to take that one step forward to continue the path. But uh, his message really encouraged me and motivated me. Like, you know, when a leader of the country is uh, giving you the right direction, giving you the support, uh, you you don't need to worry about anything else. And I'm very, very happy that uh, uh, PM sir uh, mentioned about me even before the Olympics, uh, uh, he had mentioned about my mother's effort also in monkey bath. So, which is also very important for me that uh, 
uh, he uh, appreciates all the efforts uh, of the athletes and the family who are working towards to make our country proud and uh, i'm sure this this is what athletes need and uh, i'm proud to be the indian because after the match after his tweet many people uh, you know messaged me support uh, gave, gave me a positive uh, messages and uh, i think that helped me to to feel better and uh, and gave me the energy to you know to move forward